Hello, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, emotions, feelings and those unwanted, unresourceful thoughts that come into our minds from time to time. Now the following is not a is not medical advice by any any means and it's certainly not meant to be regarded as a substitute for seeking professional uh, therapeutic care or from your GP. But the information here is designed really is offered as uh, educational in terms of the types of strategies that you can use to help yourself with some of the more minor uh, niggling uh, worries and uh, concerns that we have on an unconscious level. The first thing to mention is the fact that thoughts are just thoughts and that even though we have the ability uh, to create um, our own emotional content, the thoughts behind those, uh, those feelings are only an illusion. And the moment you recognize them as an illusion, they practically disappear. If you think about it, we have um, um, 101 thoughts passing through our minds um, uh, in a typical uh, day. And some of those thoughts uh, tend to have a positive effect on us, make us feel good, and some um, less so. And it's those thoughts, really, that we want to take control of. And when those thoughts do pop into your mind, there's two things you can do. You can either acknowledge them and give them more strength, or you can begin to realise that a thought that is just an illusion um, can be created or discarded. So if you go through your day and you try to force a thought, you may start to understand that that, that thought actually can't appear um, uninvited. I mean, if you have an unwanted thought now, nothing serious, but something which is um, you're just a niggle that keeps popping into your mind, the chances are that the more you think about worrying about that thought, the more worried you get. And in fact, one particular um, uh, emotion feeds the other and it becomes a loop. But if you then say to yourself, OK, well, I'm just going to think of that thought on my terms. Go ahead. Try and think and make yourself feel that unwanted thought now. The chances are you won't be able to create it with as much power. And if you go through your next week actually forcing yourself from time to time to have that unwanted thought when you choose, then something quite odd begins to happen. The thought doesn't appear anymore. And even if it does appear, the next technique should uh, find you being able to eradicate it altogether. Because you just let that thought enter your mind and regard it as a thought, but then say inside your mind, I choose to let this thought go. Now, that kind of auditory speaking to yourself will very quickly begin to disarm the attempt of the brain to keep bringing that thought into your mind. Just distracting your mind just for a few seconds is usually enough to um, get you in a more resourceful state and a more productive, um, uh, I guess, behaviour than you would have been otherwise. And the third way you can deal with it is by letting the thought enter your mind and then literally whiting out the screen. Literally for a, a second, just white out the screen. So let's say that thought pops into your mind. You, before it has chance, that screen goes white in front of you. It's a powerful technique introduced by Bandler, Richard Bandler, back in uh, uh, the days where he created uh, this powerful uh, psychology called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And you just white out the screen. The moment that thought pops into your mind, it finds that it can't get in. And over a period of time, the brain just gets bored and doesn't even attempt to put that thought into your mind at all. And the control then is back in your hands. Now, these strategies and many others are used in my practice here at Cumbria Hypnosis. And if you would like to know more, then please sign up for our free um, hypnosis bonuses on uh, our website, which is www cumbria-hypnosis.com, where you'll get access to all kinds of free recordings and videos and, uh, and also a free ebook which tells you more about, um, about uh, hypnosis in particular. And from time to time, this information will be updated, so please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this, uh, this momentary glimpse, I guess, into the world of NLP. And I hope to speak to you again soon. My name is David Frattian, NLP practitioner and clinical hypnotherapist. Thank you for listening and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.